In this video, we are going to set up our own malware analysis lab where we can analyze malware samples locally in a safe environment. We are going to build the lab step by step. First, we are going to install Windows 10 on VMware. Then we are going to perform some housekeeping steps and then we are going to install Flare on top of Windows Base OS. In this video, we are going to see how to set up a Windows 10 virtual machines as the base operating system for malware analysis and pen testing lab setup. Before installing a virtual operating system, we need to install one of the virtualization software. You can install either VMware or VirtualBox for this purpose. For this video, I will be installing Windows 10 on already installed VMware. First, we need to obtain the ISO files of the operating systems. Browse to the Windows 10 download page. Under Windows 10 installation media, you can find the download link for the media creation tool. Media creation tool can be used to create an ISO file for the Windows operating system. After it is downloaded, open the tool. You will be prompted with the license agreement. Accept and click on Next. Now click on Create Installation Media. Select your edition as Windows 10 and architecture as 64-bit. Choose the output file as an ISO file and click on Next. Windows 10 will be downloaded. Then we are asked the directory where we want the ISO file to be saved. You may choose an appropriate directory for you. When you complete these steps, the ISO file will be saved in the directory you specified. Now that we have the ISO file, we can proceed to the installation of the operating system. Open VMware and click on the Create a New Virtual Machine button. Alternatively, you can select File from the top menu and then New Virtual Machine. Click on Typical Configuration and click Next. Select the ISO file that we have downloaded by selecting the Installer Disk Image File option. Next, we are asked to name the virtual machine and specify the directory that we want the files of the VM to be kept. Click on Next. Choose the hard disk size. Keeping in view the number of tools we may need, make sure the size is more than 100 GBs. Finally, we are presented with some hardware settings that the operating system uses. At this stage, we go to the customization step by clicking the Customize Hardware button. Make sure you have enough RAM and the network adapter is set up as NAT. Close the setting and click Next. VMware will create our disk and then start installing our operating system. You can install Windows keeping the same options you normally keep when installing Windows on a personal PC. Once, it asks for the product key. Click on I do not have the public key. Continue with the installation of Windows. It will take a while to finish setting up our new OS. After a few minutes, our new Windows system will boot up. You can enable the desktop icons from the theme settings. Now, we need to install VMware tools so that we may be able to use advanced VMware tools like copying files from the host system. Now, shut down your machine. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. 
Go to the hardware settings and remove the ISO image. Make sure the physical drive is selected as the connection type. Now, reboot your machine. Go to my computer and you can see the VMware Tools disk. Double click to install these. Select the typical installation and continue with the installation. After the installation, reboot the machine. Now, we have everything set up and we can manually install any malware analysis tools we need. In this video, we are going to set up Flare VM on top of our base windows. Flare VM is a collection of software installation scripts for Windows systems that allows you to easily set up and maintain a reverse engineering environment on a virtual machine. Flare VM has been designed to solve the problem of reverse engineering tool curation and quickly install tools required for malware analysis and reverse engineering. In step one, we need to perform some housekeeping on base windows VM, such as disabling antivirus and firewall. And then we can install Flare VM with PowerShell script. So we are back on our Windows VM. As discussed before we set up our Flare VM, we need to do some housekeeping stuff so that we are not interrupted by Windows security features. Since we will analyze malware on our VM, we do not want antivirus software to delete the malware we have installed for analysis. We should turn off Windows Defender, which comes active by default in Windows operating systems. You should go to Windows Defender settings and disable all active settings. The feature that instantly scans and deletes the malware you have installed to analyze is real-time protection. Make sure you turn this feature off. We can also disable Windows Defender using Group Policy. You can access the local Group Policy Editor application by searching for gpedit.msc. To disable Windows Defender using the local Group Policy Editor application, you must go to Computer Configuration, then Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Here, you should double-click the Turn Off Microsoft Defender Antivirus policy and set it to Enabled. You should also turn off Real-Time Protection. The next thing we need is to turn off automatic updates. Browse to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and Windows Update. After accessing the relevant policy, you should set the policy named Configure Automatic Updates to Disabled. Windows operating systems are set to hide known file extensions by default. To change the settings, we need to open the File Explorer and access the Settings menu by clicking the File and then Change Folder and Search Options buttons from the top menu. Uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types from the View tab and save the settings. New versions of Windows have an anti-exploit security mechanism called ASLR, Address Space Layout Randomization, You can disable this setting with the help of Registry. Go to HKE Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Control, Session Manager, Memory Management. Then create a Reg D word type key named Move Images. These settings will eventually disable the ASLR feature. The next thing we need is to disable Windows Firewall. Access Windows Defender Firewall settings via the Control Panel. 
After accessing the Defender Firewall settings, select Turn Off Windows Defender Firewall and save it. This will disable the firewall. Now, you can go ahead and take snapshot of the VM. If anything goes wrong during the flare script, we can then revert back to the saved snapshot. Search for Flare VM. Open the GitHub page link. Scroll down and open the installer script. Copy the content of the script and save it in a new file. Now open PowerShell as administrator. Browse to the directory where you have saved the script. Now use the unblock command from the GitHub instructions. Similarly, set the execution policy to unrestricted. And then run the script. Flare VM will start downloading the required files and install the necessary tools. After a few minutes, a settings page will pop up. Click on OK to install it with default settings. The installation will complete in a few minutes. We can now see a log file which contains all the stuff that Flare Script has performed. Close everything, and we can see a tools folder on the desktop that contains all the tools we need to perform malware analysis. Now, to save your work, take the snapshot again. Now, to save your work, take the snapshot again. So, after executing a malware, we can revert back to our base flare VM installation. So, in this manner, we have successfully set up a complete malware analysis lab.